really fancy. Bunch of lighted dials, fancy looking stuff. I'm sure it's going to try to... Oh, it didn't try to send us in the arena commander again. Shock, shock. So hopefully we can look around. There's not a lot of looking around in this one yet. I guess the cockpit's not ready yet to look around. I can just zoom in and zoom out. So it doesn't seem we can look around in this one. Let's see if we can take a look on the outside. Yeah, we can do a free look on the outside and kind of get an idea of what it looks like from above and floating around it. This is the AMD Racer or the Mustang Racer. I'll give you an eye of what it looks like all the way around. I should have done this with all of them, but oh well, that's okay. But she's a bad looking little puppy. She's not menacing looking like the uh, Hornet is, but she's just sleek and sexy looking. And got a nice looking paint job on her too. The Omega R9 Racer. And we can hop back inside it. And then we can hop out. Oh, excuse me, I bumped my mic. And that is Sleepy's Hangar. I'm probably going to post this video on YouTube if I can figure out how. Like, I'm new to all this, this Twitch stuff and YouTube stuff. But I did want to make a video. I learned I could make a video out of this thing by just turning it on, and it would make a video and put it on my Twitch channel. So if anybody wanted to ask me questions about what kind of craft I had or the hangar or the game, I could just kind of show them this video. It's, I would have to try to explain it, and I could get a kind of visual of it. But this is Star Citizen. It's an alpha game in production. Uh, looks to be like it's going to be an excellent, wonderful game. Have a lot of aspects. You know, for those of you who want to go out and just you know play fighter pilot, you can do that. For those of you who want to discover and explore the universe, you can do that. And those of you who want to build a business, you're supposed to be able to do that. So, sounds to be very comprehensive. This up here is kind of the maintenance table. And you can take a look at it, and it pops up all your little ships and everything. As you see, if you pop in here, you can look. Oh, I forgot how this works. You can take a ship. Let's take a Hornet out. I'll take a Hornet out. We'll take a look around it. This is where you change your weapons and guns. You can put weapons on them, take weapons off of them. Like, if you don't like this gun on here, you can take it off. Oops, you gotta put it on weapons. You can take this gun off and set it on the side, and you can stick another laser on there or something. Or if you say, yeah, I don't like that, I want my Gatlin gun back, you can stick your Gatlin gun back on there. Maybe. There we go. This is how people change their weapon configurations. Put weapons up on the nose, which doesn't come with in the fighter variant that you're playing, playing with in Arena Commander. I think this is your missiles. Out on the side, yeah. This is your ball turn. I told you on the other one that didn't have a ball turn. But this is you can. I'm sure, you can purchase one of these in game and put the ball turn on your Hornet. This is where you load your ammo. You'll notice that there's ammo box of 25 millimeters that support these Gatlin guns, and you can add more ammo to it. There's your power. You'll notice here you have a Acom Star Heat Starboard power plant. Seems like we have two of them for something. I have no idea what for. I haven't messed with these. And right over here, you'll have some thrusters. We seem to have some Hammer Propulsion HM 4.2s. And this has thrusters on it, and you can upgrade them. Avionics. What do we have here? An Anvil 1000 test CPU. Seems like we have a few Anvil 1000 tests. Well, Anvil test weapons control. Anvil 1000 test motherboard. Got all kinds of little fun things we can play with. Don't ask me what they do. And the cargo bay, where you see right now, this one has got the uh, Hornet ball turret is in the cargo bay. So this thing without the Hornet ball turret will carry, I think, 16 cargo units. Uh, or else you can put the ball turret, you can purchase a ball turret and put a ball turret in it for fighting capabilities, depending on what you're going to do with the aircraft. Most people who are going to have Hornets are going to want them for the fight. 
So they're going to have, working toward or already have the ball turned in their uh, cargo. So they're not going to be carrying cargoes in this. That's why they buy other ships for that are dedicated to cargo haulers. Well, get out of here. And then over here, this is your helmet stand. You can see my helmet sitting there, and if I wanted to put my helmet on, I could just put my helmet on. It's always good to fly with your helmet on, in case you have to eject. You can actually breathe. If you don't have your helmet on and you eject, you die. It's pretty simple. And then we go over here, and this is where your suits are kept. Right now I'm wearing my suit, so but if I want to just walk around in civilian clothing, you see now it's civilian clothing, and I am no longer in a suit, but I'm in a leather jacket with a little gun by my side down there. Can't see my face, which is probably a good thing. There we go. That's the suit, your space suit, or your flight suit, I guess you would call it that you wear while flying, especially in the fighters and stuff that has ejection seats in case you get damaged so much and you don't want to die and blow up inside the ship, you can actually eject out and hopefully be picked up by one of your friends or a rescue squad so you don't die, which is always a good idea. That would be more of the civilian suit that you walk around with and probably what you're going to fly around with in the Connie and the bigger ships. I'm not sure you need to wear a flight suit in the bigger ships. Over here you have just, this kind of shows some of your equipment. Uh, what is that? We got, a, we got a pair of gloves. It looks like we got a pair of boots, two pair of boots. Seem to have a, hmm, what is that? Well, that's a gun. I'm not sure what that is. I guess it's probably a holster or something like that. I'm not all sure. Can't really do anything with the stuff to look. And I guess this is a trophy case. I haven't bought, they have a, uh, fish tank that I haven't bought. People buy trophies or get trophies or earn trophies and they put them in here and display them. It gives them a place to display their accomplishments. See it has little shelves on it and stuff. But I don't have any trophies. I'm trophyless. And that is Sleepy's Hangar. I appreciate anybody that watched that. If you have any questions or anything you'd like to ask, feel free to leave it in the messages. I will get back to you eventually, but I'm not making any promises. I uh, thank you very much, and y'all have a wonderful evening. This is good night from Sleepy.